everyone, my name's Lottie and I'm here at Queen Elizabeth Country Park. I'm at our lovely pizza oven at the Juniper site and I'm going to be showing you how to make your own bird box. So what you're going to need for your bird box is you're going to need a plank of wood. So this length here is about a metre and a half of wood. Now the type of wood that you want to use is you want to use an untreated wood because we don't want any wood that's got any chemicals in it because it's not very nice for those birds. So I have about a metre and a half here. Now what else you're going to need is you're going to need a hammer or maybe you're using screws, you can use a screwdriver. You're going to need some um, scissors as well you're going to need a staple gun you're going to need some screws or perhaps you're using nails so screws or nails depending what you prefer and then also you're going to need a piece of plastic so if we go back to the piece of wood that we're going to be using so i've already pre-cut my wood that i'm going to be using to build my bird box so the pieces that we need we have our base here so this is going to be the bottom of our bird box so you'll notice that there's some holes in here those holes are to help with drainage so that's just in case if any water gets in then it can drain away or if there's any um, material or debris that the birds leave in there it can also drain away if it needs to so there's our base most important then we have the front okay so i'm going to be making a little hole here for our blue tip to be able to go through and then this piece here is our roof so you'll notice i've got a little bit of a slant here on my roof that's so i can jut it right up against the back of the bird box and then most importantly for every house you need some walls okay so we've got our two walls here our two sides and again we've got that nice slant now this is quite a steep slant so that will really help for helping the water to drain away it'll also stop any debris collecting on top it means it'll just fall back down again so we've got our two sides here and then of course the back piece okay so this is going to be holding it all together this is the piece that's actually going to be drilled to the wall or to your tree so you need to make sure that you have plenty of room on here to be able to fix it all and have a space at the top to be able to drill a hole in there so now we have all our pieces cut we can start building our bird box so the first piece that we need is our back wall that's what we're going to be building up from okay so we've got our back wall and then we need to start getting our sides in so remember those slopey tops that we have to our sides so right let's line it up we want it to jut up against what I've done is I've actually marked on here that I want a little bit of a gap at the bottom as well and we also need a gap at the top because remember we need a spot to be able to fix our or attach our bird box to the wall or to a tree so make sure you have a bit of gapping at the top so I'm just going to line it up okay Right. So I have already pre-drilled holes into my box and it just really helps with assembling it because you're going to be balancing some wood together. You might be by yourself, you might not have a little helper. If you do have a little helper that's brilliant but it just helps with things because you're balancing it. You've got to put the screw in and then also you've got to use the um, screwdriver as well. So it just helps you a little bit. So that's fun. Okay, we've got our two sides. Okay, so we've got our sides there now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put our base in. So don't forget about those holes. Those holes are really important. We don't want any water collecting in there because stagnant water can bring bacteria and diseases and it can make the birds poorly. So we're just going to do is just going to pop that in there. What you might need to do with your base is you just might need to loosen up one of the sides. Just a little bit. And then that means we can wedge the base in and then screw it in properly. Okay, so we'll just pop that in there. Right to the back wall. Again, lining it up. Want that nice little gap. Okay. Just tighten those ones back up again. And then we can start drilling in those base ones too. So we've got two for this side and then two for the other side as well. Thank you. 
So we have our walls, we have our base and we have our back wall. So our house is starting, our little birdhouse is starting to come together. So now the next most important thing is our roof. This is going to stop the rain coming in. It's going to stop any debris coming in. Okay, so we're just going to slide that in there. So let's get some more screws. Again, I think screws is the best option because if you make any mistakes or if for whatever reason you have to um, take it down or deconstruct it again, it's a lot easier for you to do so rather than using a hammer and a nail. But it, again, it's completely up to you how you want to do it. I'm going to secure the front. I'm going to slide it through. You can see it's all coming together. And then these will be our last two screws of our bird box. Okay, so our bird box is almost finished. We just have one more thing to do. I have already pre-cut my plastic so it's something that I no longer use anymore so it's nice to repurpose it and give it another job to do so we're just going to put it over the front like this so what we want it to do is we want to make sure that it's covering up any of that gapping because we don't want any water sneaking through okay so we're just going to give a bit more and then we're just going to staple down it to the back Just, we don't want it flapping around, we don't want any gaps coming through because as I said, water always finds a way. We've got our waterproofing now. Now if you're like me and a bit of a perfectionist, you might want to just trim the edges just so it's nicely tucked away. There's no overhang and then it looks lovely and enticing for our birds to come in and set up their new little home. Right, we've finished our bird box, so let's have a little recap about how we're going to do it, okay? So remember we had our long piece of wood that was a metre and a half, okay? We've got to think about that wood again. We want it untreated and we want a thickness of about 15 millimetres to keep those birds nice and toasty. Once we've built our bird box, we've got to think about where we're putting it. So remember, three metres off the ground, keep those birds nice and safe from all those predators. And also we want it in a northeasterly direction, okay? We want it away from the wind and the rain and also the sun. So those are the most important things, high up and in the right direction so to keep them nice and safe. All right, remember we're going to be cleaning it as well. So we've got to think about autumn time. So September, October, we're going to be taking the front out, make sure there's no birds in there, make sure they're not using it so we can give it a proper clean out so it's ready for the next users. So you are all set now with your bird box. I hope you've enjoyed watching our video. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.